Ore Twin Tails ni Narimasu, or as it's known in English, gonna be the Twin Tails, is one of my favorite anime ever. You guys know this if you have been following my channel for long. I've sort of made it a meme with how much I bring it up praising it, but I truly do like it as much as I say I do. I even put it as the first anime in my list of modern anime classics I did a couple weeks ago, being completely serious, and there's a reason I put it in the thumbnail of the video. But apparently, some people on Reddit don't think a show like Twin Tails deserves such a spot on my list. Yes, it's a cult classic, not as popular or well regarded as some of the others, but it has a passionate fan base, one that will come to express their love for it any time the opportunity arrives. People aren't just talking about it being a fun show. Yes, it is a fun show, but there are a ton of fun shows that come out every year. No, the Twin Tails fan base likes it because of something else. Like, here's an example. A watch this thread in Reddit telling people to watch Twin Tails. This is not a thread that people would make for just an ordinary forgettable show. Or when people asked for a trash anime to watch, Twin Tails was by far the top voted one. Or look at the people who really want a season 2. Heck, the opening post for the Bad Concept Great Execution thread listed Twin Tails. And someone even watched and commented on my video because I had Twin Tails in the thumbnail and said they wanted to learn Japanese so they could see what happens next because the light novels had not been translated yet. No, this is not a standard show that just people enjoy. It's a show people love. Sure, not all people like it, but those who do know that there is no other show like it. And yes, there was subjectivity in my choice to include it among my cult classics, but to say it doesn't deserve consideration for such a list, I feel is just wrong, considering its super passionate fan base. But the point of this video is not just to yell at Reddit. No. Instead, I want to dig into what makes Twin Tails a show that can connect with people so much. Why is it a show that people love instead of just watching it and moving on? Why do I get so excited to talk about it despite me seeing it five years ago? That's what I wanted to get into today. Also, spoilers for the entire anime. The first thing I feel it does so right is how it handles the absurd concept all the way through the story. A lot of shows really have an insane concept that creates a really fun first episode, but then a few episodes in and the concept gets old or loses its luster. Some of these shows are still enjoyable to the end, but they never feel like they lived up to the original concept. Twin Tales is a show that is able to add more to its concept all the way through, making it never feel dull. This is combined with a plot progression throughout the series, so that any time they aren't pushing the craziness forward, they're either developing the story or the characters or something like that. Like in episode 1, you introduce the concept. Then episode 2 fleshes out the world more and the motivation of the aliens. Episode 3 gets into how people are obsessed with Tail Red and has Tail Blue join the fight. And then episode 4 got more into tutorials past and what she's trying to overcome. And then the next few episodes got into Ernia and what's going on with her. And then you have the final arc with Soji turning into a girl and everything with Dark Grasper and how that all ties together. This show is far from just a dumb concept and it never gets old. And while the story is kind of basic, there's a lot going on. The heroes all have their own challenges and things they are overcoming throughout the show, plus the villains are all stand out with their craziness and just fun to watch. I mean, they play Jenga to decide who fights next. This anime is special. In speaking of special, another thing the show does to stand out is how well it knows anime storytelling and the tropes it is using. This lets it play into the tropes when it wants to, but also adding its own twist on them when it thinks it's a good idea. For example, you have a noble main character fighting to save the world. But he's not a conventional hero fighting because he cares about the world or anything. No. He just wants to save Twin Tails. Sure, he's not opposed to helping others, but Twin Tails are what he's truly fighting for. He even says that explicitly. Or you have unsympathetic villains who are traditional for shows like this. But to make them fun, the show makes them all perverts with weird fetishes. Then they twist this trope by adding Worm Guilty, who the viewer is made to sympathize with. And there's also just a lot of smart storytelling when you start getting into it. For one example, at the start of the show, Soji is not interested in Twirl's sexual advances on him, as is typical of an anime main character. He only cares about Twin Tails. Well, okay, that part's less typical. But then, when he experiences the kiss with Dark Grasper, he starts to have doubts about love, taking the main character not interested romance through a very unique character arc. Another example is Ultima Gill's desire. They don't want to take over or destroy the Earth, they just want to take its attribute strength, and the Twin Tails fighting them is giving them even more attribute strength to take. And just the uniqueness of the whole show is one of the things that makes it stand out so much. I have seen hundreds of anime, and while I have seen a lot of weird shows, 
I haven't seen anything quite like Twin Tails. I recently introduced the show to a friend who has seen probably even more anime than I have, and his reaction after watching it is that despite all the anime, all the OVAs, all the crazy stuff he has seen, there is nothing like Twin Tails. And it's not just a concept of a guy turning into a magical girl that makes it stand out. Other shows do that. You have that, a guy who loves Twin Tails, perverted aliens who want to steal the love of Twin Tails from the world, some Power Ranger homages, a Stargate-like thing, and that is just the weirdness in the first episode. And it gets weirder the further you go. The show is stupid, but as a certain character in one of my favorite weird anime once said, It takes an idiot to do cool things. And that's why it's cool. And that is why Twin Tails is cool. The fight's are one area where the show also plays with convention. The show is somewhat of a Monster of the Week type story, but with a conventional show you'd have the episode build up to the villain and then a big climactic fight. Twin Tails will sometimes just end the fight in a single blow if it feels like that's what it wants to do with the story. It doesn't force a cliche battle when that's not the point of the episode. Like, they had Tail Blue take out one of the strongest villains we had seen up to that point completely off screen because he said something about her breast size. Another thing the show does to stand out is how well it knows the viewer, or at least the viewer it is targeting. Twin Tails is not a mainstream anime. It's not meant to be a mainstream anime. It has no intention of being a critically acclaimed show across the world, like Cowboy Bebop or Dragon Ball or shows like that. No. It is targeting the otaku. The one who is used to the weirdness of anime. A good show will make the main character relatable in some way. Either through their desires, their struggles, or wanting to be like them. But Twin Tails makes the characters relatable in two ways. But Twin Tails is able to connect the viewer to two different sets of characters here. Through Soji and the villains. While you probably are not as obsessed with Twin Tails as Soji, you can probably still relate to how he has a passion that people don't get but he cares about deeply. Maybe you want to be an artist or a writer or you're just really into anime. So you can connect to him that way. But then you see the perverted side of this passion in the alien. And if you've been around the anime community long enough, you'll know that this is an accurate representation of part of it. Sure, some of the perversion is done ironically, but there is a side of the anime community who acts like the villains here. I have been to enough anime conventions to see that people don't just watch anime for the plot. They watch it for the plot. And there's a reason one of my most popular videos of the past year was for a hentai that doesn't even exist. Anyway, this idea of following your passions is all throughout Twin Tales and how it can be corrupted. And while this is a topic for another video, that is one of the major reasons that it stands out to me the more I see it. The final thing that cements this as a classic, at least to me, is how it treats the fact of it being a stupid show. There are a lot of shows that relish in their stupidity and their place in the whole anime medium. Sympho Gear is a great example here. It fully embraces how ridiculous it is, and that's what makes it so great. It doesn't try to claim to be high art. Twin Tails is similar. It embraces all the fun in these ridiculous concepts. But while other shows don't try to hold them up to the classics of the medium, Twin Tails defends the value of it and shows like it, pushing back against those that would say it's a stupid show so it is less than these other anime. And this is shown through episode 8. This is the episode where Ernia goes to buy porn, after not finding any online, no matter how hard she tried. This show is great. So the villain for the first part of episode 8 is Al Gildy, who loves fine literature. He makes his appearance trying to give out poetry anthologies. He loves the power of storytelling, but languages that has been corrupted, calling manga trash. He calls for literature of substance, literature that can really nurture the imagination. So Tail Red lashes back with a proclamation that literature can be entertaining and enriching no matter what its form is. And she even makes a proclamation that Twin Tails are her literature that unlocked her imagination. But here's a little fun fact about me. It was the glory of Twin Tails that unlocked my imagination and showed me who I really am. What I'm trying to say is... Twin Tails are my literature! And Al Geldy gives up here, unable to refute Trailer's passion for Twin Tails. And I really don't think it's a stretch to say that the show is using Tail Red to speak for the Twin Tails the anime and anime like it here. And the show is right. Yes, Twin Tails is not Legend of the Galactic Heroes, but does that matter? 
Stories like this can be just as enriching, if not more so, than the big critically acclaimed titles. I mean, look at the big anime from 2018. Devil Man Crybaby was a critically acclaimed show of the year, but I'm certain that the impact it had on people's lives is nothing compared to a place further than the universe. And these absurd shows like Twin Tales, where the child is shown in that draw people into anime, these are the shows that can connect with people and change lives. Those who write off anime compared to TV as a whole, or those who write off manga and light novels compared to real literature, and those who just write off Twin Tales compared to the acclaimed modern classics, well, Twin Tales in this episode showed how wrong these people are. Twin Tales is a special anime. It is much more than the stupid concept it first appears to be. It's a show about growing up, following your passions, and how these passions can be corrupted. It's a message of encouragement for the outcast, but also a caution. It's the show that takes the cliches we've come to know and love and uses them to create something one of a kind. It may not be for everyone, but there's a reason some people love it so much considering it among their favorites. And I hope with this video, you could understand why some of these people like it so much, or at least why I like it so much. And if there are any reasons I missed, let me know, I'm curious. This is a series I want to talk more about in the future, and I would love to get into the, to the light novels too. Though most of them haven't been translated, so that will be kind of hard. Maybe someone will pick that up one day, and yeah, though it does seem unlikely. But as Tailred said, as long as you have twin tails in your heart, anything is possible.